I'm gonna try to talk normally. But right now we're just moving some tires. Um, Evan and the crew gave us some tires the other night. Um, they're really nice sandcasty meshy boys. Quinn's really excited um, that they're sandcast. I'm excited about them. So the, uh, the Evan, Evan Moore and the Living Legends crew came down to our performance talk the other night and they brought Jack on some wheels and I'm really excited about them. Come on in. Come, you come, you, you, you come down. Come hang out. So we've got these guys, these meshy boys. Uh, how do you like my pink glove, by the way? Those are they're great. Little, they're a little small. Good for drink. Good um, for drink. But these are meshy boy, and I think they're a 13. I actually haven't even looked yet. He yeah. said they're 13. You 13s? Okay. These were, all right, what, what year? Oh my god, 1997 are these tires. So, but the rims, I think, are like late 70s, early 80s boys, which is sweet. Uh, their meshes, we're unsure of the bolt pattern, but the best part is that they are sand cast. So I don't know if you can see this. Oh, we can. They're, they're <laughs> rough. They got yeah. a rough finish, and for a lot of people, they think that looks shitty. But for me, that's more beautiful. And so you can kind of see, uh, I, you know, normally they would put stampings and stuff on the back of the wheels and tell you kind of who made them. But nobody made these guys, so these are real cheap boys. No one made them. But they're beautifully cheap. Check it out. Look at this. Come, 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 come. Look. Get in here. Get in here. Get in. Get in oh here. God. You can see the surface tension. So when you pour liquid aluminum into your sand, your sand casters, your sand is basically defining the shape of the aluminum when it cools. It it has surface tension, just like like water or anything like that, like pour one up to the homies. Oh, I got it right in. Um, <laughs> and so cleaning. This is how you, this clean. Is how you clean wheels. Uh, no, but you can see in the edges here where like the, the aluminum finally cooled, and you can still see the surface tension in the liquid, and I think that is absolutely fucking gorgeous. And so these are lovely wheels. I don't gorgeous. think they're 4x114. Uh, we haven't had a chance to measure them. I know um, Evan said he to tried to measure them. I don't know what method he used. Not that I don't trust him, but measuring wheels isn't the easiest thing to do always. Yeah, or he just did a quick eyeball or whatever the case may be. Either way, uh, we'll give him a measure. I suspect these are actually 4x108 Masutengu wheels. And probably somebody was running this on their like Mustang 2 or something weird like that. So, hmm. But they're sick. They're really, really cool. I like them. And they're lightweight, and the tires can go in the garbage right away. They're nice boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just moving some wheels. I had some flat Corolla wheels, so... Uh, let's go get more wheel from the car. Let's go get more wheel from the car. Yeah, um, my Corolla is just kind of sitting, and so I let the tires go flat, but it turns out there was a bead leak on both of them, so... Or two of four, rather. So now we gotta heck and deal with that. We done dealed with that already. Thank you. Flamingo. Oh oh, these are Raiken meshies. Raiken mesh boys. Sadang. Kurdum. Um, these also sandcast. They are also sandcast. You yeah. can see that in there. Uh, they're a little bit more of a professional sandcast because you can see they got. They use actually a finer grain of sand, mm -hmm. and there is much more consistency to the spokes. And we painted these, we just spray painted them black really quickly. Yeah, they, all, they all cleaned up, they're nice looking. Yeah. But they are... But like even on the back, you can see there's so much more writing. Um, mm -hmm. They have like your offset and the manufacturer and a bunch of stuff. They're also crafted a little bit differently. So those other ones are actually a one-piece wheel. These, if you look at the back, you're like, oh, Qu Quinn, those are also one-piece No, wheel. they're welded. Yeah, they're two-piece two piece welded. welded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they, they actually spin an outer shell, ooh, ooh. just like they were making a three-piece. And then they, they manufacture a center, and they weld the center in, and then machine it afterwards. So, yeah, these guys are, are pretty uh, good affordable at a very low weight, at a very high strength. So, top sport. Top sport, boys. Top sports. Let's do this. Move these guys. Okay. Kerchoo! And they're light as fuck. They are. They're really good. Oh yeah. Look at that man carrying things. Ooh woo. We got yeah. the goods. We do have the goods. We're going to Nanaimo. Um, are you excited? I'm excited. To transport an outboard motor in the back of my IS300. This is really a carrier 
vehicle, um, it's yellow so you don't run into it, and also because it's taxiing things. Haha. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to Taco Bell. It's gonna be exciting. I need a zoom shot. A zoom? Yeah. Of what? You really, you really gotta get in and <laughs> see their, the dust. Of the Rare Boy Factory Manual. Mmm! Factory! Factory! And sports! Factory, factory yellow. Mmm! Yeah. That's how you get an affordable IS300 manual? You get the yellow one. Oh, oof. R.I.P. Alright, let's go kids! So we're standing on the street because you can't get in the car. Uh, on the driveway, simply because the driveway is so in rail. Love it. So we have to wait for Robert to drive out of the driveway, then we can get in the car. We're actually just too fat. Ah. Chonk. Chonky boys. Yeah. Yeah, that belt's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, go around. Oh. Ooh, didn't scrape this time. Nice. Some nice moss here. This is best part. Yeah, you're not allowed to wash the moss. Bottom. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's mossy work. now. Yeah, uh, this bitch mossy. Are starting to rust. So, if I remember correctly, it's been this thing's been here for like three or four years. <laughs> What's so. the plan for it? Sell it? No, drive it. If I can get it running reliably, because occasionally it runs and it runs well. Occasionally it runs. Yeah. And what are you gonna do with your IS? I'll, I'll park it. For, oh, okay. for a summer car. All right. Crash the drift car, turn into a drift car. I mean, <laughs> there's some people that would hate it if I would do that, but <laughs> that's them. That's their problem? Yeah. But it's a good car. It's got new valves, new glow plugs, new tires and shocks and brakes. Yeet. It doesn't look like much, but once it's going, like, it'll be a, a good reliable car again. Mmm, spicy. I've got some other spicy boys around here. What is your YouTube yeah, channel? Yeah, you can shout out your YouTube channel if you'd like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. James Garcia. <laughs> James see? Garcia? Yeah. Okay, see? sweet. We'll check it out. Yeah. I think Halls. Did, did, yeah, did. they all do. The, they all do. It, the blow it's running now. So, so why did you get this motor? Like, what was the deal? <laughs> well, there's a couple guys that are running these things, the newer versions of them. And these, I heard, that have been helped a lot 
in Australia because they were too quick. So, and you can turn this one into an 18 horse. Yeah. Just by a few modifications. So that means I could probably turn it into a 21. Dun dun dun. So more mods. Yeah. And just because the video doesn't know, why would you want to do that? What, for what purpose would you do that? Oh, I like to play. I like to tinker and I bath the race. Yeah, bathtub racing, okay. Yeet. Yeah. Spicy boys. How long have you been doing this for? 17 years. 17 years. Yeet. A long, long time. We got more sand casting. More sand casting. So this is a prop for the boat. It has been sand cast and then further machined and finished. But this is originally a sand cast. And it looks like there's a press. Press. There. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Neat. So more sand casting. Ta-da. <laughs> Where are we at, Quinn? Uh, we're at what's called Buck Liam. This is a place that is uh, very special. <laughs> uh, we happen, it happens every once in a while, so that's where we're at right now. It's a windshield wiper time! We're already doing mods to the car. Sick, Sick. mods! Is it a mod or just yeah. general maintenance? <laughs> Safety. Wait, when you're cool, mods are just general maintenance. Whoa, Whoa. Grandma, what's it like? <laughs> Um, yeah, but uh, Robert couldn't see shit, so yeah. we're He's putting windshield bad. wipers on. We've been sitting in sap for four years. That's what I want. Yeah, because you can see the rest of the car as well. Yeah, man. Um, but it does have Bluetooth. It does have Bluetooth, oh, though, guys. Tighten that on, that's oh. coming out. Oh, yep. Um, we're good. So the important part of this is that you only clean the glass. That's it. Only the glass. Everything else. Can heck glass, off. interior chrome. Wheels. Paint? No, paint's not allowed to be clean. No cleaning the paint. 